Hey everyone, and welcome back to this class, Artificial Intelligence, Reinforcement Learning in Python. In this lecture, I'm going to introduce a nice exercise for you guys, which is based on what we've learned so far. I really like the tic-tac-toe section because it's simple enough that everyone can really understand what's going on, to the point where a lot of people even have their own ideas about how to improve the algorithm. Now, a lot of people ask me, what if I make this change or that change? What would happen? I would like to remind you of my ultimate rule of machine learning, which is that machine learning is experimentation, not philosophy. I like to use this example. If I were to give you a Python script and I ask you, what is the output of this Python script? What would be your strategy to answer this question? Perhaps you might read the code and try to deduce how it works so that you can figure out what the output will be when you run it. But here is a revolutionary idea. Why not simply run the Python script? Aha, you say, I never thought of that. Well, there you go. This is the basis for machine learning is experimentation, not philosophy. Don't try to guess the result of an experiment. You are a scientist, do the experiment. So here's your exercise. I want you to try to figure out ways to improve the tic-tac-toe program. I took the parameters of the tic-tac-toe program from somewhere else, so you don't really have to think of these as some kind of immutable truth. Here are some questions you might want to consider. First, what would happen if you were to change the reward structure? Currently, we're using zero for lose or draw and one for win. A lot of people ask me, well, why is tying the same as losing? So you might want to test that out. Perhaps a draw should be 0 0.5, or perhaps you might want to keep draw at 0, but make losing a minus 1. The second question to answer is, how should you play against the AI? A lot of people try to make the AI the second player, and notice that it doesn't go so well. Why is that? Note that I phrased this question somewhat ambiguously, in order to not give you the answer. Third, there are still other hyperparameters you can play around with. One example is the learning rate. Another example is the number of episodes to play. You might want to even try decaying the learning rate over time. You might do the same with epsilon. So start with epsilon really high and then decrease it to zero as training progresses. Fourth, there are corner cases where the AI might not know how to behave properly. Assuming you can identify those cases, can you figure out why the AI doesn't do the right thing? Perhaps you might want to try to find out how many times the AI actually encountered that scenario during its training. So give these a try, and I'll see you in the next lecture.